and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the 2013 Mitch CV and Allie Zirkle, number one and number two in this year's Iditarod. So we're, we're not going to be real creative, just to let you know at this point in life. Allie and I both feel like we've been through something monumental. And uh, the brain, the brain kind of stops working somewhere along the Yukon. I offered Allie a cough drop this morning, and she decided it was too complicated to unwrap it. <laughs> Well, I just, I have a lot of admiration for Allie, and I um, just said to her that I am sure that she's going to win the Iditarod and probably multiple times in her career, and uh, she's one of the best, so, yeah. There's so many good teams still. There's going to be good teams, good canine teams and mushers who come in in the top 30 and it's just the random circumstances of what happens out there it's amazing all the everything that happens in a thousand miles i'm gonna forget about this tomorrow so i'll expand on it today <laughs> i can't just this continuous mental and uh physical planning that you do on a m just moment by moment basis as you travel down the trail because not only are you contemplating <coughs> the trail and where you have to go but you're contemplating your team and each individual in that team and what they need and you're contemplating the, uh, the others around you and then it rains or something so uh there's just so much that goes into it that there there could be there could be 50 number one teams out there and if you drove your sled into overflow and got it all iced up for two hours you, you probably wouldn't win. So I got to get through. The question was, what are you going to do tomorrow? I got to get through tonight. For is it tonight or is it morning? I don't even know what it is. It is morning. I asked someone that yesterday. It was 10. And I said, a.m. or p.m.? And he said, are you serious? I was like, yeah, it help me out to know either way. I'm not quite there yet. Uh, I'll probably hang out with my dogs and my family. I think I'm going to sleep and eat. My family can hang out with my dogs. <laughs> You learn these tricks after 50. After 50. Old enough to know better. Is there one thing that's going to stick out in your mind from the entire race? Did I mention it rained? <laughs> We're... We're mushing up, up the Yukon River, big river, big, big wide river. And there was water standing on the Yukon River while you were going up there. And um, there's a swath that is the trail that now had standing water in the trail. So some of my dogs are not Labrador retrievers, and they <laughs> prefer to not jump in that water. So um, they kind of turned around and said no politely and I said yeah, yeah you're north <clears throat> so I got out in front of them and started walking and I thought I'd be smart and get off of the trail and go around the overflow that's wrong <laughs> it's deeper so I, I don't know the concept but the Yukon River had I don't even know six or eight or ten inches of water <clears throat> underneath the snow but above the ice. So you were actually wallowing in it. 
for a long time. Long my, time 20 minutes? Long time an hour. Long time my boots are still wet. Um, hours. Days. We never got our stuff dry. Um, I, had, I had to change a lot of the gear that I was ready to use, like my beaver mitts. I had to ship them home because they were... Beaver mitts soaking wet don't work so well. And... Uh, so I don't know the rain. The rain really took a. I tried to be positive, but uh, that was probably my little. Whoop. You can't camp in the rain either, by the way. Bad, bad. Tell us about your lead dog, your single lead dog. Oh my God! I could talk for days about my lead dog. No move. <laughs> um. So there's this little dog, and her name is Kito. Actually, her full name is Poquito, which means little boy, but she's a girl. <laughs> Supposed to be Poquita, but my husband's from Arkansas and didn't pick that up. <laughs> so it's Keto. So we call her Keto. She is a rock star. She weighs 43 pounds, and she's of the Mexican litter. She's, uh, and so there were five in the litter, and uh, four of them on the team, actually. Well, one, Bonita's on Alan's team. So two, three of them just came in on that team together. And uh, I like that about our dogs and our kennel. It's, uh, it's, it's a whole bunch of family of dogs. We don't, we don't breed all that much. Um, and we, we try to keep our, we try to have somewhere between two and 10 puppies a year. And when you when you have two puppies, you better put a lot of time and effort into them. So they're ten or two good adult dogs. So it's kind of neat to have that team. I mushed this year because there were nine dogs, all siblings, basically from two different litters. Uh, and then there there was another litter of three. So that's 12, and oh, my math is going to be poor, but, and then a couple of independents in there. So I don't know, it's kind of fun to have that, that dog team that way. You know, cousins and uncles and all that kind of thing. But Keto is, uh, wants to be in lead. She doesn't, she doesn't feel pressure. She doesn't, a lot of people switch out leaders just to give them a break. Um, but she doesn't feel it. It doesn't get to her. So I'll just leave her up there. So she ran the Yukon Quest and lead, and now she just finished I did draw uh, mile zero to mile 1,000 in lead. She works a little better in single lead when I have to steer, because otherwise she has to push around another dog, and she only weighs 43 pounds. So I put her in single lead to leave Uniclete. So Uniclete's very challenging for a dog to leave as far as the checkpoint goes. Because the dog looks up and they see photographers and snow machines and mushers and there's no logical spot where the trail should go. Or dog logic there is, it's, and it's the opposite way. So I put her in single lead and just kind of talk to her about where to go. And that's why she's in single and I didn't, didn't feel a need to put anyone else up there with her, so she came in and single lead, and it doesn't bother her. So anyway, that's my little lead dog.